Hi there, plumbing fans. If there's one question that's always on the mind of us DIY plumbers, it's the question of how hot to run our water heaters. Or maybe you're not really worried about it at all, just relying on manufacturer presets to get along. Well, whether you're actually worried about it or just curious about why one would be worried about it, we're making an entire video about temperature regulation in your home. First off, why should you worry about this at all? Obviously you want your water to be hot, but at a certain point, hot water is just hot water, right? Not so. If you're running your hot water not hot enough, then you could potentially be breeding harmful pathogens right there inside of your very own pipes. If you're running your water too hot, you could potentially scald someone. So if diseases and burns are something you'd rather avoid, you better listen to our advice pretty carefully. In terms of waterborne pathogens, your number one risk is gonna be bacteria like Legionella, which is a bacteria which can cause pneumonia or flu-like symptoms. The World Health Organization gives this advice on preventing Legionella. From 90 to 108 Fahrenheit is the ideal growth range for Legionella. 118 to 122 Fahrenheit, it can survive but not multiply. At above 122 Fahrenheit, about 90% die in around 80 to 124 minutes, depending on the strain. At 140 Fahrenheit or above, 90% die in two minutes. At 158 Fahrenheit, Legionella dies almost instantly. While Legionella isn't the only pathogenic risk, most of the bacteria that you can find inside of your pipes operate in a similar temperature range. On the flip side, how hot is too hot? Especially when considering the safety of children whose skin is significantly thinner than adults or the elderly who might have decreased reaction times, scalding hot water should not be used at points of use in the home. The Consumer Safety Commission, or CPSC, recommends a water temperature of 120 Fahrenheit for faucets and showers which is also a standard setting on most water heaters. To adjust the temperature of your water heater, such as the Stiebel Electron Mini Tank, most come with a convenient to use dial for quick adjustment. Read the warning label for more information specific to your heater. So is 120 Fahrenheit the definitive answer? Well, there's actually quite a bit of debate on this issue. Going off an article in the Canadian Journal of Infectious Diseases, the debate generally ranges from 120 Fahrenheit up to 140 Fahrenheit. The concern with 120 Fahrenheit is that it's just on the edge of safe with bacteria, and so-called dead legs, or areas of your plumbing with limited flow or usage, can be below your standard temperature, allowing bacteria to multiply. 140 Fahrenheit, on the other hand, is very safe with bacteria, but is hot enough to cause burns. The answer to this paradox can be a bit confusing, so listen up. The Canadian Journal of Infectious Diseases recommends setting your water heater to 140 Fahrenheit to prevent bacteria but to limit the temperature at points of use, such as faucets or showers, using a mixing valve. A mixing valve like this can lower your water temperature to 120 Fahrenheit, or whatever you set it to. We provide mixing valves like this at our website, pexuniverse.com. Mixing valves such as this Taiko 5002 C3 allow for consistent thermoregulation, mixing some amount of cold water with your hot water, allowing for consistent lower temperatures. This can provide safe, adjustable water temperatures for the most vulnerable among us. This allows you to run your water heater at whatever temperature you like without worrying about it turning into, well. We already have a video about these wonderful little valves on our channel and the link for that will be in the description. Go check that out. That's not the end of the story, however. The same journal says that in some applications when specifically using gas water heaters, it may be more recommended to use the lower 120 Fahrenheit standard. This is because the risk of scalding with these devices can be somewhat higher. We leave it up to the consumer to make an informed decision on this one. Finally, in large scale applications specifically, such as apartment buildings, it is always recommended to use 140 Fahrenheit. This is because the risk for pathogenic bacteria is much higher as the distances between points of use can be increased as well as the possibility of dead legs. So there you have it. The risk of pathogenic bacteria growing inside of your pipes is probably not an issue to be losing sleep over. But if you really wanna be safe, 120 Fahrenheit is the absolute minimum. You should also consider installing mixing valves if you want to keep the most vulnerable members of your family safe from overheated water. If you found this video informative, please remember to go hit that like and subscribe button and hit the bell icon to stay up to date on all of our future content. Also, if you have any questions relating to plumbing, HVAC, heating, your failing marriage, whatever, leave us a comment down below. Thanks, have a good one.